So here's the thing, if you want to win a dash camera, you can take part in many of the contests which I will be bringing up on my WhatsApp channel. Yes, Travel Tech is now on WhatsApp and you can follow the channel on your own WhatsApp by clicking on the link in the description. Coming back to the video, so this is a super important video because in this video I'll be doing an unboxing and showing you detailed features of the VO4 A119 Mini 2 dash camera. Now what sets this apart from all other dash cams is that this has got the latest Sony Starwis 2 sensor in it and this comes at a price of about 15 to 16 thousand rupees. So a mini camera with a max performance, well what more you could ask for. So let's not waste any time and jump in straight into the video. So let's get started. So here is the box pack of the VO4 A119 Mini 2 and on top of the box they have specified all the features. The main highlighting feature being it comes with a Sony Starwis 2 sensor. So it has a 2K resolution which supports HDR. So on the bottom again they have provided certain detailed specifications such as the Starwis 2 sensor, multiple exposure HDR, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz Wi-Fi along with voice control. So this is a very important feature. Again on the side of the box they have specified that it has a 1440p resolution support, super night vision, GPS logger, voice control and optional Bluetooth remote as well and a parking mode. On the back of the box again the features are described in about 6 different languages. Let's take a look at what they have mentioned here. So it supports a resolution of 2560 into 1600p at 30 frames per second and 2560 at 1440p at 60 frames and 30 frames per second. It supports a Sony Starwis 2 Type 1 over 2.8 inch IMX675 image sensor. It has support for intelligent voice control, built-in high-speed dual band Wi-Fi 2.4 and 5 GHz, built-in GPS logger, supports advanced parking mode and supports micro SD cards up to 256 GB. On the other side of the box, they have given QR codes to download the VO4 app on both the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. So let's dive down into the box and take a look at the contents inside. So right on top you have the VO4 branding. So if I open up this box here, you have the dash camera enclosed in a plastic cover. So let's take it out. Ooh. So this is a very miniature camera, it's almost like a toy here. So you can see in the scale of the camera compared to the size of my hand, it fits well within the palm of my hand. And that's a very cool thing I think because this will be very easy to conceal and it will be difficult to identify that there's a dash cam in the car. So this small form factor is really a plus point for me. So I'm really impressed with this small size form factor of this dash cam. So for the time being, let's keep this aside and jump in into the box and take a look at what else is inside. So you get a user manual for the Mini 2. So this will be helpful for all those who want to take a detailed look at all the specifications of the camera. You have this slip which says read before installation and on the back they have provided certain instructions and it says that to prevent manufacturing errors, please test all the cameras and accessories before installation. They have provided certain steps such as check if GPS module is mounted on the camera, check if the GPS module can supply power, remove all protective films from both camera lens, insert the micro SD card, check if the front dash cam can record normally. And lastly, if your dash cam has two or three channel cameras, connect the rear camera, check if there is a rear camera view on the front camera screen. So these are some of the must read instructions before installation. There are also two electrostatic stickers provided which you can either use or not use based on your requirement or based on your convenience. Following this you also have a professional customer service card which provides all the details such as their website, their email address, phone and WhatsApp number and also a live chat option. On the back they have specified the warranty policy, the product registration and video sharing details. They have given a pictorial representation of how you have to go about in wiring the dash cam in order to reach the 12 volt socket within your car. So you have this wiring crowbar so that this helps you in uh, installation of the dash cam. 
So here is a type C cable with a L shaped connector at one end and at the other end you have a type A USB port. Following this you also have a 12 volt car adapter with two distinctive USB ports. So let's keep them here for now. Then you have what I think is a data transfer cable with a type C port at one end and a type A port at the other. Then as the last item in the box you have this extra 3M sticker just in case if you need to replace the sticker or you want to replace the position of the dash cam in your car maybe in the future you can make use of this extra 3M sticker. Coming to the dash camera so the first button here is a menu button and it also works as power on and off. The second one is the menu up or recording start stop button. So the third one is the menu confirm and video product and playback button. So the fourth button is the menu down microphone enable or disable button. Following this you have the Wi-Fi on and off button. On the other side you have the type C USB port. Below that you have slot for the micro SD card. Taking a look at the other side here is the reset button. And also on the screen you have the power status indicator, you have the recording status indicator. Following that you have the microphone status indicator and the Wi-Fi status indicator. Coming to the front of the dash camera, on top you have the USB power port for this dash cam. So if you can take a look here. So here is the USB type C port. Then you have the mount which doubles up as a GPS module. And finally the lens of the dash camera. This camera also does get some optional accessories which are mentioned in the user guide. So as you can see here, they provides details regarding the optional accessories. You do get a CPL filter for this dash cam. You do get an optional Bluetooth remote control and you also get a HK4 hardware kit. Now I've already made a detailed video on the hardware kit of the VO4. You can take a look at that on my channel. Coming to the most important aspect, the Mini 2 comes at a price of 15999 that is 16,000 rupees. It supports a resolution of 2.7K that is 2592 into 1944p at 30 frames per second and supports a resolution of 2K that is 2560 into 1440p at 60 frames per second. It has the latest Sony Starvis 2 IMX675 sensor. It supports multiple exposure HDR. It has intelligent voice control. It also has an aperture size of f1.6. On the back of the camera, you can find a 1.5 inch LCD display. It has a dual band Wi-Fi support with both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz Wi-Fi. It has advanced parking modes such as auto event detection support by buffered parking. It has time lapse mode of 1, 2, 3, 5 and 10 frames per second. It also supports low bitrate recording. The GPS is built in within the windshield mount. It also supports optional Bluetooth remote, a CPL filter and a HK4 hardware kit. And it also supports a high endurance micro SD card up to 512 GB. Coming to the daytime sample from this dash camera. So as you can see, this is recorded at a resolution of 2592 into 1944 at 30 frames per second. And these were quite overcast conditions from the time where I was shooting. Taking a look at the license plate read. Now I can see the license plate is pretty much clear, a slight bit of noise due to a lesser resolution when compared to a 4K cam, but nevertheless still a very good license plate read in such dim overcast conditions. The overall video footage quality looks very much natural. The brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness levels are reproduced accurately to what our naked eyes can see. Well, I couldn't make out the difference if this was a camera footage or if this is a footage which I'm seeing with my own eye. So the accuracy in terms of the color saturation, in terms of brightness contrast is very much good. And this is something really excellent from this mini dash camera. And considering the fact that it can give such a good video quality in dim, overcast, cloudy conditions, I expect this camera can perform even better in bright sunlit conditions and can give equally good footage in night conditions as well. So if you want to take a look at the night video samples, and along with that, the license plate readability of this dash cam in all of these conditions. Make sure to follow Travel Tech and subscribe to my channel. And also do not forget to like this video before you move on to the next one. I'll be bringing up many more interesting videos on this dash cam and many other dash cameras are coming here with the future as well. Also, if you're interested in purchasing this dash cam, the link to purchase it is also provided in the description below. Go ahead and check it out.
If you have any doubts or queries, do write them down in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And as previously mentioned, Travel Tech is now on WhatsApp. Go ahead, click on the link in the description and follow Travel Tech on WhatsApp and stand to win lots of exciting prizes. So this was the video for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.